You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Britain's security service, the MI5, has warned that al-Qaeda terrorists in Syria are planning mass casualty attacks in Western countries. The MI5 chief, Andrew Parker, says it is highly likely that Britain would be targeted. Parker said likely attacks are plotted against transport systems or iconic targets to inflict large-scale loss of life. The spymaster also said three terror plots were foiled in Britain in recent months. He described the level of terror threat to Britain as very serious. Parker added that the threat is possibly posed by British nationals who have joined terrorists in Syria. He made those comments in a rare address in the wake of the deadly attack on a magazine office in Paris. All right, that's Press TV reporting from England. Wow, the head of MI5 said jihadis out of Syria might attack Europe? That's like saying the wind might blow someday or that birds might tweet or that crickets or, or insects might hop. I'm not even going to attempt, though we probably should, to go back and pull the not dozens, not hundreds, but multiple hundreds of times that we predicted all this in the last two years that the Al-Qaeda forces trained and renamed ISIS reconstituted bigger and badder than ever, hundreds of thousands of them would start attacking soft targets. And I said, newspapers, police stations, colleges, elementary schools, primary schools. And then of course, we'll have to have martial law, not just at the airports, but everywhere to keep us safe, randomly. As if any amount of police state could ever protect you. Whether this is a false flag or not, we know this. Western governments helped create this threat. They're now admitting these two brothers trained outside the country. They had Facebook sites with their Al-Qaeda flags, with the hand signs, with the guns, implying what they were going to do. And they were able to get weapons inside France rocket-propelled grenades, RPGs, and automatic rifles, and go around and kill 13 people. Now, reportedly, they're dead now, we're hearing, but we've heard this before. We heard this the day it happened, and there's been explosions in the woods, and supposedly the six hostages at a grocery store have been released. I mean, I hope all that's true. This is all breaking as we speak. I got a call this morning from a very high level source, and I'll just leave it at that, confirming that an RPG was used, which is an interesting factoid, inside of the newspaper that was attacked two and a half days ago. Charlie Ebdo. And this high-level source is in the U.S. military. I'll just leave it at that. In Europe, and that is directly from their counterparts in the French anti-terror police. So a rocket-propelled grenade was used. Now, you see reports that they had RPGs. But the report is... Uh, we have one out of the Daily Mail, teenage suspect arrested after handing himself into police over Paris Magazine massacre that left 12 people dead as anti-terror unit raids building to hunt for two brothers trained in Yemen as assassins. And they said, we are Al-Qaeda from Yemen. That's what witnesses said day one. As well as AK-47 assault rifles, there were also reports of rocket propelled grenades being used in the attack, but they don't source them. Well, let me tell you, that comes directly from the anti-terror French police.
directly from NATO, directly from a high-level source, to me on the telephone 40 minutes ago. Every year we make resolutions to lose weight and get in shape. And the truth is, it's hard. Even with diet and exercise, because of toxic food and our environment that is stressing our bodies more than ever before. Working with experts in nutrition and biochemistry, I found that super high quality nutraceuticals, in addition to my diet and exercise, were the answers that synergistically worked. I can see the drastic changes every day with the amount of weight I've lost, my increased stamina, and more of a twinkle in my eye. That's why we are now so excited to launch the InfoWars Life Resolution Pack, combining three essential formulations, oxygen-based cleanser oxy powder, the secret 12 bioavailable vitamin B12, and your choice of super female or super male vitality. Now all available at a discounted price to you and your family to bring in the new year and make 2015 a true success. That's InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. 2015 is the year to do it, and it all starts at InfoWarsLife.com. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. For all of recorded history, civilizations around the world praised the health benefits of silver. At InfoWars Life, our mission is to bring you the highest quality, purest, cleanest, effective colloidal silver on the market today for the lowest price available. You don't have to be a doctor to know the fall and winter months are the most dangerous time of year in North America when it comes to you and your family's health. InfoWarsLife.com is very excited to announce our biggest run yet of silver bullet colloidal silver exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Now, InfoWarsLife.com has taken colloidal silver to the next level using a cutting-edge technique that is free of toxic artificial additives. Now more than ever, it's important to stock up on high-quality silver bullet from InfoWarsLife.com and to help others during Christmas by teaching them about the powerful benefits of silver. Secure your silver bullet today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Live from the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. We've got to be asking ourselves a big question right now while the world watches in fixed rapture enjoying the spectacle of fear going on the spectacle of panic going on as they pop their popcorn and pour their cold beer so many people uh, are simply uh, voyeurs of violence and carnage as the world watches what else is going on what else is unfolding? What else is happening in politics, in world news, in U.S. news, in science and technology, in the economy? It's all coming up today, ladies and gentlemen, on this live, hard to believe, hard to believe, already the ninth day of January 2015 Worldwide Edition. Now, just 10 minutes ago, they said that both of the supposed terrorist shooters, Al-Qaeda from Yemen, they claim, 
had been killed and that hostages uh, taken, including women and children, had survived. Now Reuters is reporting four of the hostages are dead and that the shooters are dead. I'm not going to sit here today and minute by minute go over this because there's going to be a lot of uh, disinformation, a lot of media jumping to report the latest info. We don't know if this is a false flag. We don't know if it's provocateur. We don't know if they protected these guys. We don't know if they let them into the country. We don't know, or it may have just been missed. Maybe a real terror attack. But what we do know is that the giant worldwide spy grid, the French per capita have more spy systems and electronic snooping and, and are more open about it than even the United States. It's one of the most surveilled societies in the world. And for all the electronic surveillance, all the unconstitutional spying that France has that violates their own constitution as well. It did not stop this. You could turn France into a giant prison. People won't be safe. They'll be less safe. One of the most dangerous places to be is a prison. You can get more drugs, more contraband, more child porn, more violence, more stabbings, than in a prison than you're going to have in the worst areas of Chicago or New York City. So the surveillance state didn't keep the French safe. And now we have the two brothers with their Facebook, with their Al-Qaeda jihadi flags, showing them at the shooting range, I guess in Yemen, getting training for the attack. And they've got their trendy girlfriends that follow them because they were hip-hop Mac daddies. It fits the M.O. of narcissists with their selfies that this could be a real terror attack. If I had to give you the profile, and I've done this many times on air in the last few years, if I had to give you the profile of a real modern jihadi, they're about 23 years old, they listen to gangster rap music, they wear Puma sweatpants, sweatshirts, and shoes. I'm sorry, that's just who they are. They take constant selfies and see themselves as basically movie stars, are narcissists taking selfies, hanging out with your daughter. Because the coolest thing to do is a date a jihadi. I mean, come on, just watch MTV. Just hang out on a college campus. There's nothing cooler the fusion of the worst of gangster rap and the worst of radical Islam to give us the mutation. What do you call a Mac Daddy homie G jihadi? A jihadi gangster? A gangster jihadi? How do, you, how do you compound word that? And I'm on record saying over and over again, and, and I don't brag I'm on record saying, when we're right, which is pretty much continually, I point it out because we really have the combination. We have the code. We know how things work. We understand the program, the social poisoning. And I said, get ready for real asymmetrical attacks across the West by aimless welfare head, spoiled, rotten immigrant kids. Their parents are hardworking. Their parents don't like what they're doing. But they go into the toxic American culture. You take radical Islam and you add it into the evil Western culture, you're going to get something really nasty. And that's what we've got here is this mutation. And I see it all over Facebook, all over Twitter. You see it at the anti-police rallies around the country with the Ford Foundation and Soros right behind radicalizing, holding up the ISIS signs. I knew months ago, we started getting all sorts of ISIS threats by punks on Facebook and Twitter threatening us, and the government, of course, did nothing about it, that this was a real situation. When I started criticizing Al-Qaeda four years ago in Syria, now known as ISIS or ISIL last year as a brand change to confuse the military and the American people, 